Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is scientists studying particular gene have identified three different alleles of this gene within a human population living in Arkansas. How many different genotypes are possible in this population? So before I will show you how to solve this problem, let's start with very uh, simplified problem where we have not three different alleles of the same gene but just Two. So uh, you would be able to solve uh, later any problem of uh, any complexity involving, for example, not three alleles, but say 27, because we are going to uh, figure out the formula which we can use in order to solve such problems without building uh, even Punnett squares. But let me start with very simple example where we have only two alleles. Let's say one would be allele A1, another allele would be A2. Just two alleles of the gene A. Slightly different forms of the same gene. This is what we call alleles. And of course, in order to find uh, all the combinations that we can get with just two alleles in population, uh, we have to build simple Punnett square and take a look. Because we have only two alleles, our Punnett square is going to be 2 by 2. And here is going to be A1, A1 genotype or combination A1, A2, 1, A2 here and A2, A2 here. So uh, when we have just two alleles, how many different genotypes we can get? And this is going to be one unique genotype, A1, A1. And here is going to be second unique genotype, A2, A2. And we also have uh, genotype A1, A2, which happens here twice. So as you see, we have only three unique genotypes, one, two, and three. Those, this genotype A1, A2 happens with um, uh, double frequency uh, because it happens twice here in uh, our Punnett square. So again, uh, let's uh, Let's use numbers that we got. So with two alleles, we are going to get three uh, genotypes, three different genotypes. Now let's take a look what we are going to get if, uh, for example, we are going to get three alleles. So with three alleles, how many genotypes we are going to get? So again, let's say we have alleles a1, A2, and A3. And again, we build simple Punnett square, A1, A2, and A3. So this time our Punnett square is going to be 3 by 3. And we are going to get nine cells here. And in the first cell, genotype is going to be A1, A1. Here we are going to get A2, A2. And here we are going to get A3, A3. These genotypes are going to happen only once but other genotypes are going to happen twice. For example, take a look, A1 and A2 and also A1 and A2 here. Or for example, A1 and A3 here and A1 and A3 here. And for example, A two A three here and also A two A three here. 
So what I want you to notice that here by diagonal, we have three unique uh, genotypes that happens only once, but all the rest happens twice. This, this, and this genotype, we also have uh, this, this, and this below this uh, diagonal uh, line. So that means that we can exclude, uh, for example, these genotypes from our calculations. So how many unique genotypes we can get with just three alleles? One, two, three, four, five, six. And as you see, the answer is D. But watch my video till the end because uh, we are going to figure out formula. So next time, for example, if the question would be uh, that you have uh, instead three, uh, say, 33 different alleles, it would be two time uh, elaborate to build such Punnett squares but we can find uh, an answer within minutes. We just have to um, figure the formula. So uh, let's say X would stand for the uh, number of alleles. And as you see, according to our Punnett squares, if we have two alleles, our Punnett square is going to be two by two or four. So we can say if we have X alleles, we have to square x in order to get a uh, uh, number of uh, combinations in Punnett square. So if we have two alleles, two squared would be four. If we have three alleles, three squared would be nine. Now take a look. Um, we have unique combinations uh, here by diagonal and uh, for example, here we also have uni unique combinations that happens only once. A1, A1, A2, A2. Here, A1, A1, A2, A2, and A3, A3 happens only once and only once here. So uh, now minus X, we just exclude uh, unique combinations and divided by so what we have found, imagine that uh, here we have three, so three in the power of two would give us nine minus X minus three, this three unique combinations uh, would give us number of uh, combinations without uh, those which are unique and which happens only once. And then we divide by two Basically, we got this number three. So three is number of unique combinations, except uh, this unique combination that happens once. So we have to add this number back again. So plus X. And this is how we can find uh, any number of combinations without building a Punnett square. For example, if instead of three, we would have five. So let's find out uh, what we are going to get. Five squared minus five. So 25 minus five is going to be 20 divided by two plus five. So 20 divided by two is going to be 10 plus five is going to be 15. So for example, if we are going to have um, uh, say five uh, unique alleles for certain gene, number of genotypes possible in uh, gene pool would be 15 in population. And uh, again, we can put um, six genotypes here. And if we would have say five uh, alleles, in this case, we are going to get 15 different genotypes. And uh, with four alleles, again, 4 squared would be 16 minus uh, 4 would be 12 divided by 2 would be 6 plus 4 would be 10. So for uh, 4 alleles, uh, our answer would be 
10. But for three alleles, our answer is 6. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.